Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. I'm gonna have to talk fast. <laughs> I am filming this on a Sunday evening and I'm losing light so quickly. I'm like scooched with my face practically up to the window. <laughs> so hopefully we don't lose the light before I'm done here. So this is going to be my um, one week. Oh my goodness, now I can't even remember the name of this project. <laughs> one palette, one week, there we go. <laughs> And I started this because I saw Alexi start it. She has been moving, so she hasn't been posting updates for her project, but she is the one who started the project. I'll make sure I link her down below so that you guys can check her out. She's an awesome panner. So I pick one palette per week and focus on that palette as much as possible to try and use as many shades as I can and sometimes even determine if I even want to keep the palette or pass it along. So let's talk about the palettes that I used last time. So last time I wanted to use my new Sultry palette and I do like it. It has a lot of the tones that I enjoy. It's funny though, my first look I really disliked. <laughs> I'll make sure I'll put it up on the screen for you to see. The main problem, I do not think it was the shadow. It was definitely me and freaking out a little bit, oh, excuse me, <laughs> freaking out a little bit over the placement because I wanted to use this shadow first just to get it out of the way. And I think I would like to try again and just not think about it so much, but I'll put the look up on the screen. I used uh, the shade Bloom on the lid and then on the lower lash line. Then I used Dystopian on the outer corner and I put it into the crease and I put some of that on the lower lash line. Then I used Pearl on the inner lid and inner corner and then I used fresh to blend out dystopian a little bit there in the crease and I do think it would have turned out better just if I had used placement differently. It, didn't, it wasn't a horrible look but it definitely was not my favorite. For the second look I used twig uh, in the crease and on the lower lash line and then I used rose quartz, here we go, right here on the lid and then I used Cyborg on the inner corner and then a tiny little bit of Dystopian in the outer corner to deepen it up. I thought this look turned out okay. It was, once again, it wasn't my super duper favorite, but I thought it was nice. <laughs> For this third look, it's funny. I didn't have time all day to do my makeup. I don't remember exactly what was going on that day, but I remembered at 10 o'clock at night basically that, oh man, I really wanted to play with my palette today. So I didn't have any other makeup on. All I did was put on some eyeshadow and mascara and then, and then I was just kind of silly with the pictures I took. But basically I just used Steampunk, blended it out all over the lid, and then I used Birch to blend it out a little bit. So here I am just in my bathroom making duck clips and just being silly. <laughs> but actually I really enjoy that tone. I think it was pretty shadow. I would happily use it again. Honestly, all of these shades I would use again. But I was honestly surprised how much I liked that gold all over the lid. Now for the fourth look, I used Ember all over the lid. I blended it out with Twig. And then I used Twig on the lower lash line and Cyborg on the inner corner. This look was funny as I was taking this selfie. <laughs> I showed it the selfie to my husband and I asked him, I said, do I look like a goober in this picture? Like, is this an okay selfie? And he goes, actually, you look kind of sultry in that picture. And I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> you just gotta have fun with it, guys. But this really is such a pretty shade. Very much the second you put it on, it makes your look look really smoky and sultry. What do you know? Definitely, I feel like that's like almost like a date night shadow. But I thought that turned out really, really pretty. And you'll see for those looks that I did same look in natural light and then a look in like the, my kitchen light where it's kind of more yellow toned. Then for my look, my last look, I used cinder all over the lid. Once again, I blended it out with twig and then I put twig on the outer lower lash line. Then I put pearl on the inner lid and on the corn on the inner corner and then fresh on the brow bone. This one I thought actually was one of my favorite looks as well. I thought it was really, really pretty. I had so much fun playing with this palette, although I do not think a one week was enough. I didn't get to use all the shades. I didn't use these two shades over here, and I don't think I used teak. So yeah, there's, there's at least one shimmer and these two mattes that I didn't get a chance to use. So this is definitely one that I would like to continue playing with more. I realized after the first couple of looks that my favorite way to use this is almost like a one shadow look. I really like to use just the shimmer all over the lid and then use one of the mattes just to blend it out a little bit. I think that might be my favorite way to use this palette, but definitely keeping, I'm enjoying, and I want to definitely use it more often.
Oh my goodness, I am losing light so bad. I'm gonna try and scooch even closer to the window. If it's possible, I'm gonna try. <laughs> there, I think I'm as close as I can get. <laughs> I'm like leaning into the camera, trying to absorb some light from the window here. Okay, let's talk about the last two palettes. So as I said in my last video, I did do some traveling. I didn't want to bring any actual big palettes with me. Plus I knew I wouldn't be doing a whole lot of makeup. So I just brought along these quads. This one from Wet n Wild. This is the Walking on Eggshells quad. And this one from ELF. This is the Rosewater quad. I didn't take any pictures of them. I do have one video up where I'm wearing this quad. I'll put it up here in the eye, whichever video that was, because I can't remember at the moment. <laughs> but I really like these. At one time I thought decluttering one of them because I didn't think I needed both of them because they both have kind of that pink color color story, but they're definitely very different. I want both of them in my stash. Okay, so now to choose the next three palettes. I'm excited to get really back into this project after taking basically a couple weeks off. So the very first one I want to use is Subculture. This palette I cannot make myself get rid of and yet I never use it. It's one of those that I swatch quite often just for the pleasure of it, but I'm still really intimidated to use it on my eyes. And I am determined that this week is going to be the week when I actually attempt some of the colors on my lid. <laughs> I think I've used these two shades before, maybe, you know, these two shimmers, but I think that's about it. So this is the week I'm gonna to try to do it. I don't know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> and I'm not as intimidated as I used to be since I've been, you know, playing with eyeshadow more this year, but I'm still, this, these shadows are super pigmented and I feel like very easily get muddy looking just from swatching them. That's how I feel. So yes, this will gonna take some playing with, but I'm still looking forward to it quite a bit. This is such a fun fall palette. So then for the second week, after that week of trying to be more creative, I'm just gonna go for my e.l.f. New Classics palette. This is one that yes, I can still play around with with the colors, but I won't be so intimidated. <laughs> to play with and honestly I saw someone comparing some of the shades in this to the new Natasha Denona palette and saying how the shades were quite close you know not in perhaps formula but the color was and that made me even more interested to play with it again it is a really nice mostly neutral palette I'm looking forward to playing with this some more now for the third week is a palette that may or may not be decluttered so this is from Essence this is the Salute Paris palette and I picked it up because I was instantly drawn to the cool toned colors here, especially these very cool toned pinks. And then we've got some like grays and this, you guys, this is one of my favorite shadows to ever have in a palette. <laughs> Can you even see? It is like a mauve Yeah. It's a very light swatch, but it's like a mauve undertone neutral. And I have, you know, just a few palettes with this type of mauve shade in it, and I love it very much. <laughs> and honestly, I like I have mixed feelings about it. I just don't seem to reach for it. If I'm gonna reach for a pinky look, I tend to reach for one of those quads, honestly, the wet and wild one or the elf one. So this, the third week, I'm definitely going to determine if this is something that I need to keep or if I can pass it on to somebody. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I think my light is gone. If you're participating in any sort of an eyeshadow project, uh, go ahead and let me know down below. How's your project going? I hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you next time. Bye.